Full disclosure, I am an affiliate for this software. My link to this program is in the notes below. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Camtasia Animations tool to zoom and pan your video. Before we start, let me explain what is zoom and pan. Zooming is when you scale a video to be larger than its original size. This makes it easier to see smaller items such as your type, for example, or to focus in on a particular area of the screen, giving your audience a better view. Pan or panning is when you move what is in the frame of the video to focus on a particular area. Let's start with zooming. Move to a point in the video timeline where you want to apply your zoom effect. Let's say we want to do it right about here. Then move to the left panel and look for animations. Click on animations and we have a choice of zoom and pan or animations. Select animations. And this gives you a lot of options on uh, scaling down, scaling up, scale to fit. First thing we're going to do is do scale up. So we're going to click on scale up. We're going to drag it down and put it into the timeline. This will now allow us to scale up, as you see here, our, anim our uh, graphic. If we want it to scale up slower, all we have to do is, for example, grab the white end or the other end and move it in this direction and now it will take longer to scale up. If we wanted to make it shorter all we have to do once again is to grab it and now it will scale up faster. So let's put ours about where it was. So the white dot is the start of the animation and the red dot is the end of the animation. Make sure your playhead is after the arrow. Then go to the panel on the right and you can adjust the size of the zoom. So we can go up here and we can see scale. Simply select that area and we're going to bring ours up to 150%. Now when we go back Play our zoom, we go up to 150%. Now you want to be real careful in not having your playhead over the arrow and then changing the size or one of these uh, factors like the Y or X axis. Because if you do, for example, we're going to change it here and we're going to write in 150% again, hit return. And if you notice down here, what happened is it created another animation. So now we have two. We have the one that goes up to 150%, and then we have the original one that was at 150%. So we're going to delete that, go ahead of our arrow, and we see we are back to our 150%. Now to pan at the same time you are zooming in, simply put your cursor on the screen, and it will change to cross arrows, and move to where you want. Now if we go back and play this, we can see that we're zooming in and we're moving over to our little text box. Let's move back to our original position. Now to pan, to have a pan occur after you zoom in, select where you'd like that pan to be, come up to custom, drag it down, and once again it's an arrow, and now we have the ability to click on that and to move over to our little text box. Now if you look at what happened down here, we have a double arrow because I did not move the timeline ahead of the arrow. So let's do Control Z. Let's move the timeline ahead of the arrow. Anywhere ahead of the arrow. And now we're going to move over to our text box. And let's play this. So we come in, we zoom in, 
And now we're going to go to our pan. And there's our pan after our zoom. Now that we zoomed in, a lot of times you want to zoom back out to the original fit. There are two ways you can do that. The easier way, which I like, is to simply come over here to Scale to Fit, bring that the arrow down, and we're going to move it over a little bit. And now we play it, we go zoom in, pan, and zoom back out because we did the scale to fit. It will automatically take it back to the original position. Let's go back to where we were. The second method is simply go up to the animations pane up here and grab custom. Bring custom down. Put it up on the time or the playhead and the timeline. And we can see that with the custom, there's nothing, there's no effect. If we click on it, we can see up here, nothing's changed. It doesn't change the zoom or the pan. None of that changes. Custom it allows you to put in what you want. So we're going to click on it to activate it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to these arrows and these will turn it back to the location to where it was. Now we have the scale. Well, there's sometimes you'll have a, an arrow like those below that you can click on. It will change it back to original. Or some, what you'd have to do if you don't have that is to go back to the original, which if we come back here behind the first the zoom, we can now see our original size. That size is 39.5%. I can copy that. I want to be lazy and come back over here to the head come in here and I can paste it in and now we're back to the original size thanks for watching this tutorial and click to subscribe if you want to try Camtasia currently there is a free trial click on the link in the description below and get your free trial